Indeed. I had so nice. I ain't so nice. No, they ain't on us. No, they ain't on us. Eh, 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 eh. Hey. <laughs> Taurus. What's good? What's good? What's good, y'all? Into the building, Taurus. Into the building. All right, guys. Let's see what's going on from December the 15th through the 31st, guys. What's going on for Taurus? Sun, moon, and rising. So if you have a sun, moon, and rising in Taurus, this video will and can apply to you, okay? All right. So Taurus. Bottom of G. A A A A A Should I can leave A A A A A A Give me the ball, give me the ball. Take it up now. Oh my ass and put a mile on the space now. Came right now and y'all say y'all make it famous. Have you ever seen the crowd going A J A? I don't know, I'm just so litty right now. Okay. Taurus. Y'all energy must be piping. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. All right, guys. Bottom of the deck, we have codependency. Uh-uh. It's being codependent. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Is someone being codependent? Are you being codependent upon someone? Um, is there some clinginess? Is there... What's going on? Hmm, interesting. Interesting, Taurus. Very interesting. Traditional messages we have for Taurus. Ooh, look like we had a we got a, the two of swords that want to fly out. Okay. So there's indecision, okay? There's indecision here. Maybe not being able to make a decision about something. Oh. Goodness. Okay. Maybe you feel like something isn't fair, too, because we have the justice card which is the card of libra but this talks about things being fair and balanced and this you know this two of swords popped out you know maybe there's something that isn't fair here maybe you're feeling like something isn't fair maybe there was um there could have been a scorpio or a fire sign but i feel like maybe some of you guys had a new love offer come in recently but it's something that you I feel like some of you may not want to go back to. Maybe this is someone from the past or I'm feeling like this is something that you don't want to go back and forth about. Okay, maybe someone is putting their attention here. I want to see why the Six of Wands is here. Maybe you're not paying this person no attention or you feel like they're not paying you any attention. They be dealing with the Virgo. But you feel like somebody's looking for attention. Somebody's looking for attention. And I feel like you're not, you're not studying them. Present energy, we have retreat. All right? So it's time to disconnect from the world. Okay? So some of you guys are vacationing and putting your feet up and realizing that you need to disconnect. You need a break. You're moving on from, from something, some type of argument or some type of problem, some type of disagreement, realizing that you need a break. Getting to know each other is coming into the near future. Here with this page of swords, there's definitely communication or there's spying or there's gossiping going on. Now, there could be a Pisces involved here, but definitely some truth is going to be spoken in the near future. Okay, something that could possibly be hidden could possibly come out to the light and someone could be speaking their truth, okay? Circumstances start to change. What is the Wheel of Fortune here?
Yeah, the world and the the world card and the wheel of fortune. This is definitely universe conspiring um, to work with you on your side. Okay, and I feel like um, there is some secrets that are going to come out. Maybe you have been spying, or you're getting some type of tea about something. And I feel like something is circumstances are are changing. Okay, circumstances are changing. Things are turning around or going in your favor. I feel like there's going to be lots of success. What messages do you have? What messages do you have for Taurus? I think in you guys' uh, reading previously, you guys had retreat as well. I remember you guys were kicking y'all feet up. Taurus, December 15th through the 31st. All right, so we got the Six of Cups, okay? Something heartbreaking about the past. Maybe there could have been a breakup in the past or there was some third party energy in the past. But we got the Three of Swords, which is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy and the Six of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy. But there's something here about the past that could have been heartbreaking or sad or sorrow um, or caused some type of pain. There could be financial issues here. Some of you guys are dealing with your finances. Maybe some of you guys are feeling the crutch, like it's time to put in some work, okay? We got the five of pentacles, which talks about, you know, feeling financial strain or financial burden and the challenge being the ace of pentacles, okay? So this is definitely about money, okay? This is about your finances. And it's something about here that you're working on or something about your job or something that you are building, okay? You're looking for stability here in the past. Past energy, this is home life, stability, marriage, okay? And you are trying to hold on to what you have. With this four of pentacles, this is in your desires. You're trying to hold on, clinging on really, really, really tight to what you have, your coin, okay? I'm sensing like it's saving. You're trying to save. Um, going into the near future, guys, we have the seven of wands. You're protecting, you're standing your ground, you're protecting it with everything you got. Some of you guys are dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Some of you guys could be married to a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like there's lots of pentacles here. So I'm definitely feeling like this is, has something to do with money. Okay. You're overcoming you. This could possibly be some obstacles that you're trying to overcome. Some somebody could possibly be have some toxic energy, or there's a Capricorn involved, or a toxic mother or mother-in-law or baby mom. But I, I'm definitely sensing like protecting, protective energy. Maybe you're trying to defend someone going into the near future. Maybe some of you guys are dealing with the boss at work or you are the boss but i'm sensing like some of you guys are dealing with this has to be work related okay some of you guys y'all y'all are y'all got your mind on your money okay your mind is on your coin your mind is on your coin i feel like some of you guys are protecting and and protecting and and defending it and clinging on to it um, some of you guys have things that you're wanting to work on. And I feel like some of y'all are saving. Y'all's trying to save y'all money. All right. So let's do a past, present, future for Taurus. December 15th through the 31st. And a lot of you guys are possibly saving up because... The holidays is right around the corner. And you guys are wanting to, you know, make sure that you have everything that you need for the holidays. Maybe some of you guys are doing some traveling. Um, but I'm definitely sensing like saving your money. What additional messages do we have for Taurus? 
All right, there we go again with this Six of Cups. Okay, yes, I'm telling you, it's something here in regards to your finances here with this Ace of Pentacles. Okay, could be in regards to something like a car because we got the Six of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. It could be something like a vehicle or moving, moving, um, switching jobs. I'm sensing that too. A lot of the same cards. Okay, so past energy, we have the Empress. So this could be motherly energy. Some of you guys could be dealing with the mother or someone who carries that motherly energy. The Empress does talks about giving birth or someone being possibly pregnant here. Um, and it also talks about new beginnings, okay, as well as abundance. So there could have been some type of realization or a second chance with something that you were trying to balance out. I'm feeling like there's an awakening here or realization or a second chance um, to balance something out, to find a way to balance the situation. I'm definitely sensing trying to balance something out here because in the present energy, we have the temperance card, which is the card of Sagittarius. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Sagittarius. We also have the Hierophant card, um, which is the card of Taurus, but this is definitely trying to find balance and do the right thing, okay? But there's still disappointments here. There's still something dis disappointing you, um, and I feel like it could possibly be on how to balance this situation out and do the right thing. I feel like some of you guys are trying to do the right thing here and make sure that the situation is balanced. Going into the near future, guys, we got this seven of wands, which talks about standing your ground, overcoming your obstacles. Coming into this near future, guys, we have the nine of pentacles, which talks about stability. This is as well as the singles card, the bachelor, bachelorette card. But we have a little bit of anxiety here and a little bit of worry here. So there's obstacles that you're trying to get over, and it could possibly have something to do with your independence, your money, how you're going to keep everything together. I feel like there's a little bit of worry, a little bit of stress here. I'm definitely sensing some of you guys are married. Um, we have the justice card as well as this four of wands, which is definitely like a legal marriage um, or, someone, or someone is dealing with a Libra, maybe living at home with moving in or living at home with mother um or there's a libra involved definitely sensing um fire energy aries sagittarius leo maybe there is some disappointment here possibly with a sagittarius leo or an aries okay i feel like some of you guys are trying to heal and balance the situation now but something is disappointing here something is you're tired of something or you're bored of something and you're trying to find a way to heal Definitely sensing Sagittarius energy here. You're worried about going into the near future. I feel like there's obstacles that you're trying to get over. Um, and it could be something that's within yourself. Something about yourself that you, or something about your independence or something about the way that you do things for you. Okay. I feel like there's a little bit of anxiety um, and a little bit of either some competition or a little bit of conflict here. It's like you're talking out some issues here. Someone is worrying and it's and, and I feel like there's some issues that need to be talked over, that needs to be um, talked about here. Gosh, I'm really getting a lot of fire energy. Definitely getting a lots and lots of fire energy. Some of you guys are dealing with fire signs. I'm also getting, like I said, I was getting um, Taurus, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and Libra. Leo as well. Oh, I said Leo with the fire signs. Okay, guys, that is going to be your readings for December the 15th through the 30th. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in with me today. If you would like to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, information will be below in the drop box, okay? All right, guys. Ciao for now.